You can see many bomb cell, bomb fragments. We collect it from the Kuchi area uh, after 1975. So the local government, we cooperate together with the foreign companies to remove all the weapons left over in this area before giving land to the local people. And also you can see around here, not only the bomb, cell, uh, fragments, but also you see all the guns here. We have different types because we collect it from the battlefields. Uh, we got it from the, mainly we had AK-47 from the Russians. Uh, and the uh, German make or the French make, local make. And this one, the leftover uh, American gun, that we call the M16. So GI, you this one. So GI used M16. Our guerrilla majority, we have AK-47. Much better. When we dig, build any construction, we have to check every three, four feet because we are afraid unexploded bomb still underground. What does it look like? A rock. A rock? Yeah, a hill, hill maybe. Hill ants. <gasps> you see many in the bush also over there, you see? This one, most of people say is termites and hill. Termites. Termite mouth, but if you look carefully, you see this one? This is the mount they put the plastic uh, pipe or the bamboo to get the air ventilation. So when you live underground, four, six, eight, ten meters, more or less, uh, 20 feet, you need oxygen. So what we do, we confuse GIs and South Vietnamese by making ventilation to deeper level by doing like the termite mount. So a GI used the uh, dog, the German, the surfer to smell we was hiding underground or not. We put black peppers and chili. We put black pepper and chili inside this area. Right. Work? Yeah, it is work. The, the dog cannot smell because of the chili powder come to their nose and they cannot smell. So later on we change this by putting a uniform GI uh -huh. underneath soap, whatever belong to American soldier smell, we put underneath. So then we'll be okay. They cannot smell where we was hiding. And we make a lot of artificial termite mounts like this. We said cooking without smoke, going without tricks, talking without sound, because we hide underground. We talk, we use body language, the signal. Uh, smoke, cooking without smoke, when we cook, the smoke we have to keep underground and leaking to the ground little by little. Early morning, US helicopter flew around, they see like the mist, the foggy, foggy. Yeah, foggy. So they cannot find that our real kitchen was underground. Going without tracks or track, wherever we move, we have to clear our feet. We don't want someone follow because we have secret entrance go to tunnel system underground. We have several entrance in and entrance out. Only a group of guerrilla make the tunnel in that village they know clearly, like their home. But if another group from another village, they need a local guy from another team to lead them to. Otherwise they trap their own team. Because like you build your own house, you should know the corner where you put this and that. The same like the tunnel. We built early time 1948 like a secret place for family member to hide. So later on they find out, wow, after French left, they still have war with the South Vietnamese. So they connect from family to family and then spreads to the whole village. And later on they find out, wow, for family not enough, they need for the gorilla because they have like 16,000 Kuchi gorilla. They must move to the high ground area, the reason why they move to here. Because here, if you look at the uh, map, it's 10, 12, 15 meters higher compared to sea level. High, high ground, hard clay, thick jungle, forest, and close to Ho Chi Minh Trail in the north. 45 miles away from here, northern part of Kuchi Tunnel was Ho Chi Minh Trail, and also close to Cambodia border, 70 miles away from here. So we hope one day all the Ho Chi Minh Trail from North Vietnam go to South, go to Laos, go to South, and then Cambodia and back to South Vietnam will link to this place. But U.S. know that when we built the Ho Chi Minh Trail in 1960, so the reason why they built up uh, many bases to stop the communists not connect to this. So U.S. forces kept, commander said, if Kuchi is the stronghold for the VC, if let Kuchi survive, a big threat to Saigon government. So Saigon government, they want to, to protect themselves. They have to turn Kuchi to be a dead land the reason why the bomb would drop, to turn off 
all the VC was hiding here. Kill them all. The reason why like half a million tons of bombs were dropped through here because of the VC. They don't want to leave because they wait for connection or the forces to attack headquarters of South Vietnam, Saigon government. So you see more ahead. We call the uh, centerpiece and several other. You see the half red, half blue, yellow star. Red represent for the north. Blue for the south. Yellow star is mean our skin of Vietnamese people. Flesh, we are not white people, black people, we are yellow. So uh, during 1954-75, the liberation troop belong to the Communist Party. They have this medal, half red, half blue, yellow star. And after 1925, we don't have this flag anymore. We have the whole red, yellow star, like today you see. So here you can see they have a uh, uniform, gorilla, they have the black fisherman, the clothes like this. And they have the, um, uh, the, the, the flashlight and the bidon to contain the water and the sandal make of the broken car tire or truck tire. They call the Ho Chi Minh sandal or Zeus. And you see more females in Kuchi. You know why they have more female than male? Another part of the country, mainly you see men go to the army to fight. Women stay at home or cooking or doing like assistant or the other. Take care of the baby. You know why here they have more women? Smaller, because they could Smaller, they shorter, can go. Yeah. easy Smaller. to go. In the tunnel. What else, the most important? Being cooked. Being cooked. <laughs> <laughs> because most of the men back to Dostai in <laughs> South Vietnam, they were drafted. They were what? Oh, drafted. 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 They have to be oh, to serve for okay. the country. Yeah, so. South Vietnam, they yeah. mobilize all the young Vietnamese mm -hmm. men have to go to the army. Right. And North Vietnam, they do the same thing. Right. They mobilize all the Dong Ban, so only women. So, so some people, when their husband away already, they die in the North during the French time. So the children, because they keep anger to the French, and they volunteer to be local guerrilla here. They fight for the country, independent freedom. Mm. So they keep like their job of mm. their, their father or grandparents to go on. So because like sometimes the husband would be with the South Vietnamese army and the women would be guerrillas, their wives would be guerrillas? Uh, some family, they have different part. Was born in the family, the brother worked for the North, the other relative worked for the South. What about husband It's happened to my family too. What about husband and wife though? Husband and wife depends on, they work, they never let you know which okay. side they, 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 uh, they do. But normally they do let the partner know. But some special job, they don't let it. Like one man, Pham Sung Ng, he's this very famous one, work for Reuter, but nobody know that he worked for Reuter. South Vietnamese thing, work for, work for the Americans, international media. Mm -hmm. Reuter, what you call? The, the famous one? No. No. Uh, R-E-U. Reuters. 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 That's one. Very famous one, but the, the South Vietnamese side didn't know that. That he worked for the northern side. Yes. So all important information about Ho Chi Minh operation plan attack uh, Saigon or South Vietnamese plan to attack the VC side or North Vietnam Army. He already know he sent information to Hanoi. In 1975, they find out, wow, he is the biggest spy in South Vietnam government system. But his wife didn't know it beginning. Later on, they know. So he become like the famous one. Now, well, North Vietnam had quite a spy, spy program anyway. Then they oh, they do. Lot of spy they do both sides. <clears throat> the South Vietnamese do to the north, and the north do to the south. In Vietnam, back to 1960, 70, a lot of people thought maybe South Vietnamese. They most of them they follow U.S. No, wrong. Wrong. Yeah. Depends on which side background they are. So, but U.S. soldier GI is hard to recognize who follow whom, very hard. Because at daytime, they, they make a living by doing this and that to survive. But at nighttime, they can become enemy. At daytime, they sell candy to you. Here, GI, you would like to buy candy, see grass mo. But by coincidence, the landmine in the basket. Oh. Mm -hmm. The kid they throw to a troop of GIs, American soldiers. So the reason why the order killing like Mi Lai, Drew Ai, and several other villages. Because the American soldiers cannot tell who follows South Vietnamese, their side, and who follows Northern side. A little kid, old women, or young one. It's they confused. Because they don't wear uniform. They, to the bay, they have uniform like this. 
but they are in the civilian inhabited area. They don't have any specific uniform. They just kill. They think that belongs to the enemy. They just kill whatever. So the reason why a lot of misunderstanding between the both sides and happen big massacre a lot. This is a part of Flustaba, but we're recycling to any tank, land, mine, or whatever. This one, we pull it Go in so deep, not so far. No, they have like all of this one. Yeah. Very deep inside. You can Very see over here the hole. Okay. Many of them inside. You see that? Okay. It comes out until the end. <laughs> And so then they are, are embedded in the ground. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. So they some exploded, some not. Those we recycle all of the stuff. Like over there, you see that. So when it exploded, it's like boom, like a firework. All the small metal ball come from little thing like this. You see, one pie, they have many of these. This. And inside of each dish, they have a small metal spragments and a bore is come to your skin they get stuck there and torture the rest of your life we are in there we call iron triangle this area belong to Tainan province this area belong to Ben Yung and this area belong to Saigon so we just tried in this morning from Saigon the old capital of Vietnam the capital of South Vietnam you see the blue spot here US Air Bay you see that airport this morning Jean asked me how much this one, very large, you see that? Saigon in early time, very small, you see? But the airport is very huge. So the blue spot here, there. Do you see the blue color on the map? Uh, that is US bases. This one, the biggest 25th Infantry Division. This one, Dong Yu, right here. You see the light red color pink here, you can see? This area, that is the Kuchi area. Kuchi tunnel area is covered about 150 square kilometer, less than 100 square mile. So you see the black line, eternal system. You see the green in the jungle, the forest. The light green is the rubber plantation, early time. So you can see this area, no life living around here because the liberation area controlled by the VC, uh, this area. You see the pink color here is confliction between the South Vietnamese and guerrilla, the VC. The first tunnel would make in Tang Phu Trung village here, only one level under the confliction between the VCs and the lower uh, and, and the South Vietnamese and under the rubber plantation. Later on, they have to move to the high ground here along Saigon River. You see Saigon River is not where the city from here is going through Saigon city and go to the South China Sea. You see the yellow line here is inhabitant area. So especially this area, you have huge village here, we call Trang Bang. You remember the girl in the picture. The girl in the picture, the famous one that wrote the books, yeah. she would bomb, but Nafam one would burn her clothes. Her older brother came and took off the clothes. So her hometown was here. So now she lives in Canada, not, not Vietnam anymore. She left Vietnam. So you can see this area, they have a huge tunnels area. And the, the black line tunnel system, you see some is isolated, it only happened and built only this village. But you can see many exit or entrance to go in you see the a small spot here is mean the entrance and exit so they connect different from this village to this village and the whole village you can see 16,000 Gucci gorilla operated what they do they use the bomb cell to make the this two to, to 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 move the soils put into the basket they hand it person to person to the nearest bomb crater shelter whatever or to the nearest canal or river more than 20 years. They make more than 200 kilometers long connects to many villages in about 100 square mile. You can see over here with three layer. Look at this one. So this one you can see back to uh, 1960, 70, more than 20 years. They make more than 200 kilometers long connect. The first level about four meters deep. The second about six, the first about eight to 10. So the deepest level is about 30 feet below the ground. The lowest one here is about 4 meters deep, more than 10 feet, 10 to 30 feet between that. So you see the ground here, compared to Saigon River here, is about more or less 25, 30 feet higher than the Saigon River. But when it's heavy rain, the water level over here is can flood the third level here. Mean the water is going up like six, seven feet higher. 
so they have to move to the high ground. But when the low tide back to normal, so the third level not flooded. Only the axis way here, they walk to the other side. You can see from the red to go to the petty fields and they walk back to the yellow color we call the inhabitant area. Why inhabitants have to be moved to Trang Bang and the other downtown Kuchi? Because US and South Vietnamese didn't want to drop the bomb to inhabitant area. So they have to move them all to live in the yellow color. I mean over there for living. Don't come to the red, the liberation area, the fighting zone. So, but when the bomb would drop, the pilot didn't have any feeling when they dropped from the top in the aircraft. They just spread the button and the target they plant. And the reason why many bombs would drop, not only in Kuchi Tunnel area, but also several in the other villages, even the inhabitant area, the yellow color area. So uh, you can see over here, the first level, you can see the big room, only mainly the big room in the first level. Like uh, the fighting bunker, the first level, uh, food and store weapon, resting room, the kitchen, and the meeting room. You see that we put like this to prevent like the, the bomb. And the bomb can destroy the first level and the second level. But the third level, about more or less 30 feet, will be okay. So something like less than 15 feet, 20 feet, or destroy first and second level. But the third level will be okay. So uh, some part we make very s small, just big enough for gorilla. Because since the uh, US, they came to the Kuchi area over there, Dongyu, the big blue spot under the tunnel area, they find down tunnel system here is not only one place but several places the reason why the bomb would drop later on and uh, the local guerrilla they try to dig the tunnel from the village the yellow color area go to the 25th infantry division to steal the guns the food whatever they got it from the team just as you can see over here so uh, since they know 1966, 67, 68 Tet Offensive started from here. So many fighting happened during those 1960 and 70. So you walk down, it's about more than 10 feet, you see the underground water well. Underground water well here because of high location. We have to dig, wow, uh, more than 35, 40 feet to get the fresh water. So just below this one is a huge water well to get water to cook the food, like boiling tapioca and several other drinking water. So one way down here and get up there, you see. It's only like 40 feet long, if you want to. This one a little bit hard to go. You have to bend your back. We still have more part to try. Is it light down there? They have light down there, electricity, and the, our local guy, M10G. M10G. G, Mr. G will lead you to from here down and up there. Mm -hmm. Chào. <laughs> <Choir. laughs> I thought I saw a snake. <laughs> and right here is another bomb crater right outside that. <laughs> That is one of the exit entrance to get in and out. This one you see, fighting bunker. You see that? So it look like the thermite mount, like this. You see, but around your feet, under your feet, you might see one of the another entrance. Not only the one, the other group try already. Could you please define? This is one of the secret entrance and exit to go to tunnel system. Exactly. Yeah, you can see that. Pretty small. Uh, to this side, step back one, three feet to take pictures. The local guy will show you how to. So before moving down, gorillas, the last gorilla have to put the leaf on the opening and around the opening. Why? To cover, camouflage themselves carefully. Don't let anyone know that. See or he moved down this way. Otherwise the whole team's dead, die. And before going down, they do like this. Just in a main second, he moved down, you see that? He, when he closed himself, one, two, three, move down and close himself. And when they close himself, he close himself, you can see, all of much you don't see anything. Yeah, you can see that, you cannot see anything. 
<laughs> you see? It's just next to you. You don't see that. He might move to there. He might move to somewhere else. Yeah. See that? Ah. So to do this, you had to be thin. Yes. That was a bad guess. Yeah. Our parent generation gorillas, back to 60, 70, they are slim, small body. They are not fat. Our generation a little bit tall and big because of the food. <laughs> but back to those times, they are sharp and slim, small body. So this side, you see, almost double size. This one for visitor. <laughs> oh, boy. oh yeah, really? Honest. Step down, step up. When we build the tunnel, we don't build three levels at the same location. Different. Like level one over here, level two over there, and level three must be another place. Because if you build like a high-rise building, the tunnels collapse. Mm -hmm. So the reason why we build like four, six, eight, ten, back to eight, six, four, two, one, ground. Or ground to ten, twelve, and then up to zero to the ground. So that is how we do. You can see from here, you see how they make it. Reptiles can come in. Cobra. We use, yeah, cobra. We use the uh, oil uh, for motorbike. Uh -huh. The oil from the motorbike, they, they don't like that smell. You know the black one after yeah. you're using? Yes, yes. Right. You just pour it in and this, they don't like that one. Insect doesn't like it. So or you use a kind of uh, like lemongrass or the other kinds of smell. Mm -hmm. The mosquito, they doesn't come to live much. Especially the insect like scorpion and so on. So we use the horn. We put underneath. We spray. And oh, they don't come to the end. Wall. Oh, oh, okay. In the wall. And they don't come to stay. Okay. Like you go to the jungle, you use leech. To stop the leech, they come and they bite you. Mm -hmm. So you must use uh, some kinds of cream. Right. Spray around. You tighten it. So early time too, we have to use some kinds of oil. A natural one, what we have to stop all of those things. So, okay, so we go on. Next one, what does it look like? I know it's underneath, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> she told me, so I can't. Yeah, <laughs> look, look at that. Mm -hmm. Look. Yep. Ooh, you see? Oh, there's no bamboo. There is bamboo. Bamboo. Yeah. bamboo. So yeah. the bamboo they call bamboo yeah. trap. So they stuck them on with yeah. the bamboo. Uh, bamboo punchy, eh, you call? Mm -hmm. oh. Spike, punchy. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, this trap early time, we used to trap like animal, like mm -hmm. tiger, deer, or wild pigs like Helmoy, the mountain peak. Mm -hmm. But in the war, we fought to protect ourselves mm -hmm. and to scare and fight the two the other. Mm -hmm. So we just make this trap with the bamboo spike, punchy, mm -hmm. underneath. Mm -hmm. So if someone fell down, then the spirit of fighting of the team, scary. Mm -hmm. And then they come up from the tunnel, shelter, yeah. and they shoot it. Oh, mm -hmm. So most of GI scare back to 1960-70 is one of the dangerous, we call bamboo trap. Or another trap is hanging on the tree and drop to the head, uh, to the south. We call the metal trap, like a durian fruit. Mm -hmm. They have many punches with the metal, the uh, recycling from the bomb cell, and drop and hit it. They hit the back, hit the head, or several other metal trap. They tr put on and landmine and several. Uh, six, seven years ago, when I was the work with the veterans. Wow, we saw all of those stuff. Because local people, you know, they try to throw all the trap to the bomb crater. Mm -hmm. Because the bomb crater with the bamboo trees grow in the middle of bomb crater this and right. something not exploded or dangerous stuff, they just throw to the bush. This, this and he told me that, Sharia, don't touch. Yeah. It might explode. Because you look, it's old, but it might explode if you touch heavily. Yeah. Yes. And you know, in the front is a skuya, my God. And at the back is a bomb crater. And they just a fence. They don't allow, they say, dangerous, danger, dangerous area. They don't let the school children cross the fence because mm -hmm. behind the school was a huge bomb crater mm -hmm. with the all unexploded stuff with the fence cover around. Mm -hmm. And he found exactly where he was back to 1960 and 70, close to Baden, the Black Lady Mountain, northern part of Kuchi. Missing. Yes. U.S., you know how many? About 1,500 something mm -hmm. left mm -hmm. in Vietnam. MIAs. MIA. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, missing action. Yes. Mm -hmm. Still, more or less 1,500 yeah. in Vietnam. Yeah. In the yeah. war, you go to Washington Memorial, you see Vietnam War, mm -hmm. uh, yes. built by your government, 58,000 mm -hmm. some hundred. Mm -hmm. And Korea War, another in front of Lincoln Memorial. But the suicide one, I heard the veteran told me that tens of thousands suicide mm -hmm. after returning home because the nightmare and so on.
yes. and they're suffering because of the Agent Orange happened. This area, uh, Agent Orange will spray one or two times too. But after 40 years, Agent Orange is gone and these trees grow back. But uh, Agent Orange, the heavily spray is close to what we call the main grove forest, southern part of Saigon, close to South China Sea. Over there now, after 40 years, we treat it by ma growing mangrove. Do we believe mangrove is the a kind of trees can survive in sub, such hmm. poisons by the Agent Orange. Okay. But it's close to the sea. Mm -hmm. So all the dirty stuff water from the city of Ho Chi Minh City go to downstream to the South China Sea. Now the mangrove we grow. So we try to grow, we call three, uh, one million tree, including the chemical spray back to 1960, 70, four to five times. Four to five times now, the chemical is still there. It's like Da Nang Airport. They have to burn the soil and return back to the soil after burn thousand degrees. But along the South China Sea over there, we don't let the people living. But to, to treat the, the poison and Agent Orange and other pollution things, we plant the <coughs> mangrove. Mm -hmm. And the mangrove now, they grow already about more or less 10 years. Now we are thick mangrove. So now the life recovering step by step. So we believe that in the future will be uh, the huge, like the lung of Ho Chi Minh City, to protect from the South China Sea. When the storm hit, it doesn't hit because thanks to uh, the mangrove. Hmm. Because we grow the mangrove very thick, very thick, mm -hmm. the mangrove, very high. That is what we have done today. What's up, Eli? Yes. Uh, you said once that the areas that were sprayed three or four times have not come back. Is that uh, the case in that case? Some case like cannot recover because of that area, no water irrigation system. So all the there gets stuck right there. But wherever like close to the sea, close to the river after 40 years. So because of the another layer of the muddy and it's gone. We think that much of the current is swept them to the sea. So the reason why now after 40 years, the area heavily sprayed by Agent Orange can recover because it's close to the sea. But if it's stuck in the valley, it's hot because the chemical is still there. No way to go out. So then the tree and everything, the life there is very poor. The little trees can grow. The recovering we try to do, that is the southern part of Ho Chi Minh City, about 55 kilometers to the south. Let's say about 40 miles, about that. Southern part of Ho Chi Minh City. Now is recovering after more or less 40 years, but slowly recovering. Mm -hmm. it depends on spray one or two times, very quick recovering. But four to five times, slowly recovering because the chemical is still there. It depends on how many times spray. One. Back to 1960, 70. But when the bomb would drop there and behind you over there, so this one like shaking and then collapse. And so we don't run away this one. The, the South Vietnam soldiers could see that and then they can could see. go down. Can see. But when we collapse this one, we, we make another one. Like we make uh, the new tunnel connect with the older tunnel, just tens of feet away. Nah, and we, we, we don't have to carry the clay to the river or canal another place anymore. We just take the clay to the next bomb crater. So you were thought we don't make the new tunnel to connect with the old one. But in fact, we do. We do connect the older one by, we will do work at night by pouring the nearest bomb crater. Sometimes we make our crater ourselves, uh -huh. our purpose, because we would like to make more tunnel, more room for people to hide during the war by making our own bomb crater Yes. to, to, oh, to get yeah. the clay out. Yep. And you see, oh, this is because of the new bomb. In fact, it's a clay from the tunnel we make to connect so our system. The, the tunnel, the oh, yes, sure. Wow. And we're recycling everything. Okay. Like the metal stop over there, you see that? When they operated early 1960 without anesthetic, anesthetic, no. They have to put the uh, scarf and towel into their mouth mm -hmm. and they're suffering from that. They die because of bleeding, 
cannot stop, like cough, shock, medication, malaria. So they die because of those reasons, a lot. Antenna collapse when the bombardment happened. So the biggest number die and the biggest number of bombardment happened in this area. Kuchi land. Where we saw the car of the Buddhist monk Thit Quang Đức burn himself. In Saigon, this is where they stop, this area. If you, when you go down this room, you see the huge room with the map, very detailed planning to attack U.S. Embassy, to attack Saigon and all the military space in the south and the whole country, especially here in Mekong Delta around Saigon area. So if you wish to see those, they have two ways to go. One, this way down, 30 feet, you see the big room and exit to the, over there, you see that? Or you go another way around, from there you walk back 10 feet, you see the big room, in and out the same way over there. Over there is shorter than this way. But if you wish to see the hole, go down this way and go up there. Then exit under the trees. So easy to put an air pipe down there. Yeah, the it's huge. Day. That's how they do in uh, the wartime. Mm -hmm. To cover everything. Mm -hmm. Like in the bush, you see nothing. What we do, we remove the joint here yeah, for the, like a PVC pipe yeah. for connecting to the underground level. Right. Like 8 10 meters deep, we need big bamboo to make the hole. We put many bamboo pipe wow. to get ventilation mm -hmm. as by make a strike different when you walk to the wet mm -hmm. muddy area. Or we have to clear all our feet away. Have you ever worn these? Oh, my father got one. I Did remember. they make your feet black? No, because this one though. is very strong one. It doesn't make your feet black at all. Mm. So very cheap and comfortable, protect the feet of the gorillas to walk in the bush, step on the bamboo spike, no problem. And they're this 70 dong. Now it's three dollar and a half, wow. less than four dollar. <laughs> Can use for two years. So does that go around the heel? The yes, oh. the broken thing become entertainment. If no war, you see the many bullets hole and two kids they hang a hammock like the gorilla sitting on the hammock when they don't have fighting, tight both tree and swinging, sleepy. Our uh, reading you see from the tunnel reflection. This GI tried to get the uh, tunnel 1968. You see that they carry bomb, unbelievable. This they carry, you see they dig the tunnel. And the fire attack. And here you can see this is one of the uh, conference 1974. And the hero, you can see over here, the hero uh, we call Pham Bang Koi. And uh, especially in Kuchi, they have very famous one, artillery female squad team, or oh, female. You see, operate between the uh, rubber tree here. And this one there, they hide inside the tank to shut aircraft back. There they cut this one for recycling, you see that? Uh, and many uh, GIs got injured, you can see, bamboo spike and nail spike trap, trap GI. This is like the, the award. The more they kill GI, the more star and medal they got from the leaders. This one, what you think what this lady doing here? Oh no, this lady. Look, look at this one. In the basket laundry. here, what they doing? Laundry? No. You know what this lady doing? No. Look at this. Bomb powder. Oh. Bomb powder. Because when we cut, we put the water at the opening because otherwise the fire happen, explode and kill them all. So after cutting, sewing slowly, and then they, they, they take all the palm powder into the bamboo basket to make another several and detain landmine. Trap. You can see here, they, they put the metal sticking to the lung for producing high fighting level. Well, you can see here the skid in the underground. You see the baby born? You see, especially the baby one, but the baby born, not living parents, just a few hours after born. They have to move to the yellow color, we call the village inhabitant area. Because if the baby cry, the whole team dead. <coughs> That's right. The reason why they cannot see the children, mm -hmm. they have to move the children, go to mm -hmm. safer area. And here, the reason why beside the bamboo trap, a lot of GI, they scare of this one. 
because they never know when this strap fly to the head or the bottle or the side of the head. So this one can drop from the trees. This one. Or, or when they open the door of the house, this one fall down and hit the front. This one. If you see this one, this one. Normally they hang to the back like this. So when, when you open, it's automatically heavy hit. If you stop this, they don't hit your front, but they hit below your belly area. Because this one is swing up and hit you like this. They hit your front or your belly area. And several other ones like you see on the ball. Is this a real one or is this something they make later? The real, they make similarly. This is a replica, but a replica. replica, but the original one the same. But they put into local people's house. You open the local people's house, this straps for that. Hit your front, hit your belly area or whatever.